you but this is college right so we're going to act like it's college and we're going to figure things out I feel like you'll figure that out somebody will be able to help you if you can't figure it out uh you're taking your some more over that everything? you ready for it you feel good about it you've been studying the weather and everything okay how about navigation you good with that you can find light bones yes sir you know what a chart supplement is I've memorized everything look at that yeah mm -hmm. if you're teaching a class I like that when you memorize everything what does that mean I memorize everything like I didn't learn it, I just memorized all the answers. Okay, that's fine. Have you seen one of these? Yes, I have. Uh, we used to call them at Green Book Airport Facility Directory. They now call it a chart supplement after retired. You know, so why do they the Green Book? No, it's a chart supplement. We're going to cover navigation because if you pick out an airport, it tells you everything you want to know about. Who to call? Do they sell gas? The length of the runways, the lighting, the traffic, are all in the chart supplement, which is this right here. We also have some brand new sectionals here to go over a couple. So anybody not in the house can look at a sectional, maybe some of maybe it's technology. But how about the pilots? Everybody know how to look at a sectional? Yeah. So if I was to give you an airport, you could give me the light long. Yeah. Pilots, I'll be okay with that pilot. You good? Okay. So we're going to do that next week. I like to hear how I go, okay? Could you turn off that one light on the left there? Thank you. Chapter 8 is where we are. Study Guide 8, whatever you want to call it. What did we do Tuesday? Chapter 7, right? What, what was it about? It really stuck with you, didn't it? Chapter 7. We're going to sit here until somebody tells me. Aviation weather. Aviation weather. Aviation weather is what we did. So that was Chapter 7. As we go into Chapter 8, Aviation Weather Services. So we had weather and now we're going into services. What's the difference you think? Yeah. Services, huh? Yeah. Weather, we talked about METARs. We tried to identify them and things like that. Mm -hmm. Services, we're going to get more into about who's providing it and all that other kind of stuff. All right. There's a lot of pages in here. We're going to skim through quite a bit of it because it's just not applicable. Okay. I don't know why they put it in the study. You know, they want you to know everything, build it up. It's just not applicable for what we're doing. Number one reason for delay in the air traffic system is what? Weather. Weather. You'll be in an airport and you hear a broadcast. Due to air traffic, uh, we're not going to be able to depart on time. Most times they just say that. It's weather or the plane's broke. Okay? So, number one reason for delay is weather. Perhaps you're seeing that in trying to fly. Can't get up in the air because of the weather. Who is responsible for saying the weather is certified? Who puts out the weather? Government. The federal government. Big brother. So, official weather comes from National Weather Service. And there are some FAA facilities and individuals who also can provide official weather, okay? 
these apps you got are probably a third party vendor who you get your weather from somebody else. You know what I'm saying? But it comes, all starts with the weather from the federal government. Got quite a few acronyms here. This is probably my favorite website. We'll go to it in a few minutes. It's got everything about deep tars, pie reps, tabs, upper level winds. It's got it all. We'll go to it in a little bit. Of course, we've got the National Weather Service. Do we have an office in Jackson, the National Weather Service? Yes. Yes, we do. And there's a big Doppler radar, big golf ball. Where's the golf ball at? Have I seen it? Brandon, right on Interstate 20. You'll see it over there. Big golf ball. That's, that's the Doppler weather radar. Okay? So we do have a National Weather Office in Jackson. If you know somebody who's a meteorologist, they would love to work there. Good pay and benefits. Some air traffic control centers have a center weather service unit. That's enough. About that. Have you guys talked about briefings with anybody? The pilots I'm talking about? How many types of briefings are there? Three. Thank you. Three. Well, look at them. <clears throat> There's right here talks about three different briefings, but they talk about what you should do when you call to. Is this file a flight plan, I believe? contact the boy. We all know this number right here for the pilots. And they, they, the questions that they give them a knowledge test are just crazy. What is the first thing you should do if you call for a weather briefing? And sometimes the answer is uh, your name. And other times it's your route. Whatever the best answer is, okay? Whatever looks logical. So, three types of briefings. If I'm going to get in the air, what is it, 9 o'clock, 9.30? If I got a I don't know, a flight at 4 o'clock and I want to do a briefing. What kind of briefing would I get? Look up there and tell me. Six or seven hours away. Outlook. Outlook. We good with that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if I'm going to get an airplane in like in less than an hour, what kind of brief, brief would I probably get? Standard. Abbreviated. Yeah, so you should get the standard further out than an hour, right? The standard should be the one that you get a few hours away, and then the one in less than an hour the abbreviated, kind of an update, okay? Three types of briefings. One is further out, a standard which covers everything. Have we done briefings? Have you guys gotten briefings? From, have you called them if you have? Is it lengthy, the briefing? Not too bad? Okay. Because most of you are staying in local area, right? <clears throat> there is or are of information and opportunities to get briefings while you're airborne, okay? In flight, as they call it. So, the uh, the thought is request a standard brief anytime you're planning a flight and have not received a previous. Okay, you do that standard. If you've not had a briefing, get the standard. They do make recommendations. VFR not recommended. There's things called air traffic delays. They will give you all this information. Plenty of information. Do we know anything about FISB? Have we seen this? part of the ADSB, Automatic Defendant Surveillance Broadcast System, where everything's tied in. They were certifying this as I, as I retired. Radio stations, airplanes, FAA, it's all interconnected. Works good until you pull the plug, right? I don't know if they got these in the training aircraft here. ADSB. Everybody's talking about it, so I don't know. Uh, Flight Service Navigating LFS. Like they're trying to sell me something. Everybody's trying to sell you something. Yeah, even these people, right? Oh, look at that. They've got drone information, of course. And operating area. There we go. METAR. You guys got to remind me. Did we do METAR on Tuesday? Did we talk about this? Don't remember. Man, I got a weather class. I think we touched on it. My weather class, they know it inside and out. We're going to learn something right now. METAR, what does it stand for? Meteorological... No, maybe. What's it stand for, Laura? What do we call a METAR? Hunter? Routine. routine weather report. METAR is a routine weather report. METAR comes in two fashions. It's the routine report or a special. They, they say speci, S-E-P, E-C-I. This is everything you get in the METAR right here. Uh, I feel like when you guys go out for a flight, you check the weather. That's a METAR report. Y'all do check the weather on your phone app or something. That's the METAR report. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's just dive right into it. Let's have a little fun here. 
Now, Daniel, without too much information, can you decipher what all this is right here, or do you need some help? Um, yes or no, what do you think? Yeah, I can. I believe you. I, can I believe you. Grant number one. Can you read all that? Do you understand what all this is? Couldn't read it out, so you have to probably figure it out. Probably figure it out. I don't like the attitude. Okay. Well, let's start right here. What's this one right here? Can you read that? Is it big enough? I mean, I may even make it bigger. I don't know how you make it this button right here. Sounds like you need some help. Date and time. Okay, yeah. All right, so uh, for a little more specific, this is the 20th day of the month at 1953 Zulu. What time is it? 1443 Zulu. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's go to grant number, we got number two in here? Nope, we don't have any other grants in here. I'll take that for granted. <laughs> uh, let's see here. All right, I need a pilot over here. One of you two guys. What's this one right here? What's that? 240-15. And we said the wind, right? 24015. How's the visibility looking? Three quarter. That's not good. We're not gonna fly today, are we? Three quarter mile. Ooh. You wanna change this or you wanna let somebody else do this? What do you think, guys? What is it? What is it, Hunter? Remember? Yeah. Runway. Runway 28 RVR 2400. Wow. Runway 28, RBR 2400. How about this one, Sam? What is this right here? Thunderstorm, heavy rain. See the plus? TS, thunderstorm, heavy rain. All right, Grant. I can say that right. Grant, the only one I did. What is this right here? A minute ago, you told me you could figure it out. Okay. All right, let's see. I need, I need another pilot. Are we sure what pilots that they were missing? Daniel, you got this right here, right? What is it? Broken 800. Broken 800. Okay. You didn't know this, Grant, okay, man? I knew it was broken. I just didn't know it was 008. So, <laughs> so this is the altitude. 800, 8,000, 8,000. So is this, do we know what a ceiling is? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to keep picking on Grant. You know what a ceiling is, Grant? <laughs> Scattered a ceiling. You're failing, buddy. You're failing bad. Daniel, broken and overcast are ceilings, okay? Yep. Broken and overcast. That's the big question on this. What's the ceiling at Memphis? And they'll give you like 3,400 scattered, 4,600 broken. Broken and overcast are ceilings. If it's 900 broken outside, this field is I far. If it's 900 scattered outside, it's B. Broken and overcast. We're going to press on here. Look here. Broken at 800, 1,500 overcast, CB. What is CB? Chemonimbus. It's a type of cloud. You're only going to see two different types of clouds in reports. One is CB. Chemonimbus. One of my flight students want to tell me what a chemonimbus cloud is? It is a rain cloud. Rain, rain, rain with vertical development. Cumulus, right? Which probably means a thunderstorm. But you got to have light and a thunder for that, right? Yes, sir. So CB, chemonimbus, temperature, dew point, altimeter. Oh, wow, this is a fun one right here. These two guys over here know this, right? Any idea? Where'd you take the media? This is thunderstorm. What do you think, guys? I think it began at 32 past the hour. Rain began at 32. Rain began at 32. Rain began at 32. Okay. You're going to see this kind of stuff, and they're going to ask you to decipher it. And in your book and on this thing right here, it talks about deciphering it. Again, VTAR is a routine report right here. Every hour, there's a routine report. Now, it's always updated because it's a computer can do that. But every hour is a routine. When is it not? When something changes, like the visibility goes less than three miles, it'll put out a special report, a non-routine. Okay? All right, routine and special. Uh, it'll put the identifier there. What's the identifier for Raymond Airport? The three-letter identifier. You can say four if you want. Is that right, guys? Yep. What is this right here? That's a K. 
in the United States. That means it's in the United States. Thank From you. Conus. Conus, right? Is it say it up, up here somewhere? No, it's just the United States. Right here. Conus. Is Alaska part of the Conus? No. 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 The continental mm -hmm. United States. That's right. The lower 48, if you will. Okay. Example. San Francisco. K S F O. Modifier is an automated or one that's been corrected. Those are some things you'll see on it. The wind we talked about a little bit. You see right here, two four zero one five. Variable at four. That means it's swinging. Look at this one right here. Got all kinds of numbers and letters there. Two one zero and zero three gusts. One three from one three zero. What the heck? The wind is two one zero at a hundred and three knots. That's the breeze there now. How about all zeros? What's that mean? Wind calm. calm. Okay. All zeros. Wind calm. Wow, look at that definition of visibility. Prevailing visibility. Consider represented a visibility at the observing site. Represented the greatest distance can be seen. Whew, let's do this. Prevailing visibility. These are from a flight student. So my other students have already passed this, right, guys? Yeah. Prevailing visibility. Two, three, four, five. The greatest distance that you can see in at least two of those segments. Somebody give me a number with the greatest distance you can see in at least two of those segments. The greatest. What? Would you agree four is good? Yeah. Why do you say four? Because he said it, right? <laughs> you can see four here and here. That's at least half of it. Okay, so the visibility is four. The greatest right. distance you can see at least half of the you know, circle, if you will. Report. Is it statue or nautical model? Statue. Always statue. Visibility is always statue, okay? There's RBR, I talked about the it. Distance is always measured in nautical. Like mm, the distance C. between two points. Yes, yes. Weather, intensity. So here's our symbols, right? You'll see this. Heavy or light, that's pretty easy right there. If it's just RA, it's rain. If it's got this before, it's heavy or light. What about SHRA? Rain shower. Look at some of these other identifiers right here. Uh, I've never seen that before. Load drifting, eh. These are the ones that you're more more common to see. Probably not that blowing the snow or whatever. Although TS and HA are usually precipitation and may be preceded. What's this one right here? with an intensity to shower. For example, this means heavy rain showers, okay? Heavy rain showers, you will see that. Some other identifiers that it would be helpful to remember. What's UP, Upper Michigan, Upper Peninsula? Unknown precipitation. Unknown. There are times when the computer doesn't know what to call it. You look at where I'm freezing stuff like this, like that. No grains. How about GR, what is that? Hail, hail, okay? All right, let's see. Obscurations to visibility. That's a nice word. That means you can't see, right? If the visibility is less than five eighths, it's going to be fog. If it's more than five eighths, it's going to have this word, these letters called BR. What's a BR, guys? Broken. Nope. It's not broken. It's missed. Right? BR is missed. BKN is broken. What's up, man? Let's see here. These are the ones that'd be nice if you knew right here. Fog, mist. That's smoke, okay, guys, and whatever y'all thinking. Smoke. Mm -hmm. hey. Was it FU? I don't know. All right. Pressing on. Funnel cloud. Wow, look at there. I want we did this with the earlier class. What is plus FC? You see that? You'll see that up there? What is plus that is tornado? Isn't that crazy? Funnel cloud, if it's got a plus in front of it, it's a tornado. Run for your life, okay? And here's examples of the sky and ceiling, ceiling and things you'll see. I've got it all highlighted, but you will see this again. Remember these. I think you can remember these. View scattered, broken. VV, vertical visibility, okay? used when the visibility is very, very low. The ceiling is very, very low. I've seen vertical visibility 200. Okay, you're fogged in. What did we say CB was? How about TCE? Somebody called it a college. 
Towering cumulus. Towering cumulus. Early grand about a ceiling. You see right here, lowest broken, lowest overcast. If they tell you the weather's a few clouds at 700, you can fly. It's VFR. If it's broken at 700, it's IFR. Okay. That's what that means. <sighs> Height. Here's the easy example right here. Grant, you ready to do this or you need somebody else to do it for you? Mm -hmm. Hey, we got a Grant. We got another Grant in here. Grant, hey, look at me. Grant, Grant, we got three in here for a reason. All right, so we got There's scattered. We got two today. We got scattered at 1,000. Oh, yes. Okay. You got a kid. Broken at 2,500. Yes. Overcast at 8,000. Yeah. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, I literally just answered this yep. question. He was telling me someone's in the hospital. I don't know. Yeah, granted, he's got to keep it. Can you read, what's this, what's this weather? I heard what he said. Did you hear what he yeah, said? Yeah, I heard it. Scattered 1,000. What's the next one? Broken 2,500. Generally, they say 2,500. Hundreds, thousands, 10,000. Broken 2,500. Overcast, Overcast where? 800. 1,000. 8,000. 8,000. So if you don't know that and you're up flying in the sky, you better learn it sooner than later. Okay? He was just flying this morning. Oh, we're today we're no, we're just doing stuff. Here we go. Here we go. <coughs> quiet, quiet, quiet. <laughs> Again, TCU and we're CP. I saw here it is. The only two cloud types: cumulonimbus, rain, cumulus clouds. Starting okay. Height in an indefinite ceiling is VV. I don't know if you're going to see that. Vertical visibility is 600 right there. Temperature dew point. So Fahrenheit wise, what's this temperature right here? Fahrenheit. 32. What's the dew point? Dew point is always lower than the temperature. Oh. 28. 28, 29. This is minus. Okay. Minus, all right? Which it says right there. <clears throat> Moving on. Uh, Grant number three, what are these, what are we saying right here? What is this? Uh, altitude. Does that say altitude right there? Altimeter. Altimeter, 200, 905. Okay? Altimeter. Right. We talked about this earlier in our previous class. I got to quit mentioning that. If you see VC on a report, or what's the other DC, DSNT, I think, where did it go? Yeah. At the bottom. DSNT. If you see VC, how far is that from the observation point? What is the vicinity? Five to ten. Five to ten. And DSNT, is that, where, how's that far? More than ten. More than ten. Okay. From the observation point, thunderstorm distant northeast or something. Beginning and ending. Oh my gosh, we did one of these fun ones right here. Daniel, I mean, you think you can read all that? That's pretty crazy. We did this a little while ago. Uh, rain began like zero five past yeah. the hour. Yeah. And then um, and did it thirty. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, what about this one? Northbound. <laughs> I don't know. Snow. Snow. Snow began. Yeah. I know I didn't hear snorf bound. That's not what I heard. I right? said <laughs> snow began. Two zero eight is fifty five past the hour. Okay. And here, since we're still learning, thunderstorm began at zero five, ended at four zero. Look at all those right there. My gosh, it's past those. I have to go a little smaller here and look at some of those. Uh, like, I like it bigger enough to see it. Why are you missing? Like that. So we're going to show you a different terminal. Aircraft. What's an aircraft observation? It's a pirate. <coughs> so a METAR, right, had the date, the time, the, the location, KJBW. What are we looking at right here? Computer data? I have a feeling there's one or two guys in here that could tell me what this is. Pirates. Probably somebody who's going to take the testimony to tell me what this is. What's his name? 
Can you read it? No. Brett can't read. He's from the Delta. Is there a pilot in here that can read this? <laughs> one of these. I could attempt it. I think you do. Oh, I don't know. That's, that's Dude, like one language. All right. All right, look here, guys. So listen, what does UA mean? Pyro. UA means pyro. Okay? UA means pyro. All right? Routine. Yeah, there's, there's also an urgent, which is U D U A. We don't see any of those. Here we go. Look right here. That's an urgent pyro. Listen up. U U A is urgent pie rep, okay? So we've got regular pie rep and urgent. And Layton said he could probably read it, so here you go, man. So can try. Well, try until you trip. What, is, what does this mean? Pie rep, what does that mean right there? TCL 180030. Uh oh. 180 degrees at 30 knots? Well, you got half of it, all right? 180 degrees. Was it TCL? Is that what it was? Yeah. Y'all know where that is, right? No. Tuscaloosa, Alabama. OV? What's that stand for? Over. Over. Over Tuscaloosa 180030. Well, there you go. Here's the 180 and here's 39. Right here. 30 miles away. The time is 1422. I'm guessing. All right. Only one boss in here. I'll let you know what I find. No. <laughs> Listen. 180 at 30. 30 miles south of Tuscaloosa. TM, yes, time. What about FL330? You guys hear that? Altitude. TP. That's not full. Okay, what is it? C550, what is that? Hi. Yeah, what? If it said C172, would you know what it was? Cessna, mm -hmm. right? Sky is clear. Air temperature. Minus 15, it's a little cold at 33 pounds. And uh, turbulence, none. I want to say ride smooth, but that may be a turbulent power in. What are the letters in the beginning of it? We're, we're at again. DYA. DYA, GFK. These are the fixes. These are the locations. Where do you think MIA is not missing? You know? Miami. Miami. Miami, okay. Uh, with, with time, you'll learn some of these. Uh, PUV, probably Pueblo, Colorado, Philadelphia. So these are, and this is just what they put up there. We can get Birmingham. any of them. Is it Birmingham in there? So is that like, I'm guessing that's what that is. Go ahead. Is that the city where like the pirate came okay. from or something? At the station uh, there or something? So, I'll show you. And then we'll go to fire reps. And then we'll click on one right, right here. I don't know. Down here at the bottom. Yeah, this is where the location is, is what I would tell you. This right here is ICT, which is Wichita. So yes, it's the location. This is the power rep. It's saying over Wichita, where? Five miles south, 1805. At 1406, altitude 2500. By 757, the sky was 2500. The tops were 4200. Did y'all see that? What does the FL mean? FL is altitude, flight level. Flight level, okay, I thought that meant four. <laughs> All right. This right here is aviation weather. These are all the current pie reps right now. Right, number three, how you doing over there, man? I feel like I'm losing you. I'm no, just looking at the dude and the whole way. Come on over here. Look over here. This is Stewart, Florida. You ever been down to South Florida? No. Oh, Pensacola, right? Man, look at that. Over, OV, that's the location, wherever FPR, Fort Pierce, baby. Right? One two zero radial twenty miles at fourteen twenty five thirty five hundred at PA twenty seven. I think that's an answer. What's the weather here? Hmm. Hmm. Set the visibility seven miles. Haze, no turbulence during climb during descent. You're gonna see this stuff, guys. So what is that? Um. That seven would be one, which one went from the top? One two three four five six. This one? Yeah. UL. That's the. Uh, Whew, it looks like a call sign to me. So this would be an air rep, a pilot. This is United 609. Uh, Glad you pointed that out. You won't see like anything like that on the chest, okay? That's too tricky. All right? Did you have a question? Sorry, Lane. Go ahead. I was going to tell you that FPR, FPR is St. Lucie County International Airport. Where is that St. Lucie? I don't know where it is. It was the one. South the Florida? Yeah. Okay. South Florida. South Florida. So, it is a so the question is, what do you need to know from this? Okay. Fort Pierce. 
right. So you, you need to know what these identifiers are. Over, where it is, what time, altitude, aircraft, sky, and weather. Okay? I wonder what that means. FB99SM. Flight visibility unlimited. 99 miles, right? Yeah. I feel like I'm getting a lot of blank stares. <laughs> Let's go back to this one right here. It, it, it adds up. I mean, yeah. You know. And part of the, the things that you learn is you'll see, uh, we'll apply to other ones. And this is an example of a pi rep form. And look, it's got all, everything on there that we were talking about. VWD, turbulence, I, icing, and remarks are in, what that is. And they have talked more about it right here. Three digits, 100 speeds, types, all that kind of stuff. Weather, flight visibility. All right, we did all that. When they, when a pilot gives a pie rep and you ask them like, what's, you know, how was the ride? They're supposed to give you something. Well, the turbulence was light or moderate. They sometimes say weird stuff. Some other class. I had a pilot. I said, what's, what's the ride like? It's like riding a corn cob. What is that? Moderate turbulence. So they're supposed to do that. Bumpy, right? And icing is the same way, by the way. Light, moderate, severe. They're supposed to tell you one of these terms. Light, moderate, severe. Turbulence and icing has specific classes. All right, grant number three. I got bigger letters. Where is this? You think? Oklahoma. I know you've been there. Oklahoma, <laughs> Oklahoma City. And UA means what? Help me out, somebody. Pi rep. Over Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. City. I wonder what direction that is. Uh, Mm -hmm. 63. Yeah, so got a circle of 63. Yeah, 63. Northeast? How far? Northeast. Uh, 64 knots. That's pretty far out. Miles. Mile. Miles. Yeah. Miles. And what is this right here? The time is... 1522. Yeah. What did we say FL was? The altitude. 8,000 feet. Oh, look at here. We know what that is, right? The Cessna one. Like so type of plane. Yeah. Plane yeah. type. And TA air temperature. Okay. Wind is variable. TB is light, turbulence, and in, they're in clear. We did a pie rep. Look at all those pie reps out there. That's over the oceans as an example. Uh, pie rep is the clearest, latest, best uh, available information for planes in the sky. Okay. Nothing better than a pie rep for pilots as they are flying. We'll get into air reps. All right, so now we were talking about current weather right there. METARs, PIREPs, we were talking about current weather. Next thing we do is TAF. If this is not current, what is this? Terminal air frequency. Forecast. Forecast. All right, we've got current, we've got forecast. Terminal aerodrome forecast. Don't say that. Say TAF. Did you check the TAF? I wonder how long the terminal area forecast is for. 24 hours. 24 hours. Terminal area forecast. And you will need to read these because there's going to be several questions on the test. So how long is the tab for? 24 hours. Terminal area forecast. In science statement, that terminal covers an area five mile radius of the airport. And it says it's updated or something, prepared every six hours. I got big letters so you can see. Prepared four times a day. These hours right here. Not too much important because it's all Zulu. Many of the codes in the METAR are also used in a tap. Like this that should help us out. That should help us out. Airports that receive 30 hour taps, I don't care about all that stuff. Those are some more of those identifiers you were asking me about. There is a website where you can type in the identifier and they'll tell you where it is. Okay, for some of you guys. I got a book over there, it's three pages thick of identifiers. Look at this tab right here. Who's my volunteer that's not latent? He volunteers for everything, right? Sam. Sam, he's already had this stuff, so he knows what this is. Some of them, maybe technology students. Who else? Lauren. David, come on, man, answer the question. We haven't hit David yet, have we? Yeah, come on, David. Now, obviously, well, we know this is a tab. Yeah. Where, where is it, David? Oh, uh, you're in Oklahoma City. Well, what does this mean? That means you got a wind speed no, no. and... What's the first thing on location? What do you get? Day in the morning. Date and time. Okay, yeah, date and time. So it's the fifth day 
Uh, the 11th, yeah, uh, fifth day, 11.30 Zulu time. Yeah, um, zero, five, one, two, zero. That's from the um, hours from. If you want to cheat, you can, well, I guess it doesn't say you have it's on the 5th from 1200 Zulu to the 6th at 1200 Zulu. Okay, hours. let me keep going. That's uh, 140. That's the direction. Wait. And then at 8 knots, yep. yep. Yeah, you got five statue miles of visibility. What's BR? Uh, broken. Nope. Um, uh, no. Uh, no. Missed. Missed. Missed, okay. Uh, BKN is broken. So how do you say that? 3,000 broken. 3,000 right. broken. Um, mm, WSO 18. Boy, do we know what that means? Wind speed. Uh, it should say down here. Low level wind shear. Wind wow, shear. got a wind shear. That's a tough one for you there, man. That's a wind shear right there. Okay, keep on going over here. The tempo. This, somebody's in the band, right? Tempo. That's not what this is. It's temporary. Okay. Get a sound. Listen. You got this, Sam? Temporary conditions is what that is. When? When are these temporary conditions in effect? On the 5th from 13 Zulu to 16 Zulu. Okay, it's three hours. And the temporary conditions are visibility one, miss, and then over here at 1600, the wind becomes this. Uh, on the 5th at 2224, this is the weather. All the way down here. And so you just keep reading like that. So here's what you're going to see is they're going to ask you, what's the weather in Oklahoma City forecast uh, from uh, certain times 13 to 16 Zulu? They're going to ask you that. And it's up there if you know where to look. 13 to 16 Zulu, one mile on this. Is that hard to read? Do we need to do like six more? You get grant three, try it. I didn't hear what you said. You grant three, try it. Well, I want him to learn a little bit more. We don't want to hit him too hard. The grants are taking more time. Let's do it. Amended tab, corrected. This talks about it specifically, date and time, when it's valid, and the weather elements, most of which we've seen already, we can add. Again, UP is unknown precipitation. Wind shear, that was a tough one. I'm surprised they had that in there. Tempo group is used for other things, you know, temporary conditions. We're good with that. From group tells you when it'll be going. Becoming is only available in military and high school. That's that. Probability indicates a chance of a thunderstorm or other. Probability 40 is 40% 40 or 30 to 39%. That could be a question. What is probability 30, 30 to 39%? All right, Grant, do you want to team up on this one? No, come on, man. Where's, where's bro? Oh, um, did he say bro? <laughs> so, no, can, um, you, can you speak Spanish? No. Brownsville. As they say in Spanish. Brownsville. No. <laughs> All right. So this is the Brownsville, right? What, what is this right here? Uh, that is the 30th. Date. The 30th at this time. Okay. Uh, Good? Yeah. And then it talks about it all the way over here. Look right here. What is all that? Zero Beach? No. That's a variable, right? Variable. Thank you. Four knots. Keep on going, Grant. Um, Either one, man. Y'all need to stay after class, right? We need to kill them. Three statute miles, 4,000 scattered, 15,000 1, overcast. Temporary conditions from 21 to 2400. Rain showers. So, 0 to 200, we got any weather to do that. Becoming all this stuff. Motivation. All right. And we got more examples there. Look at all that. Wow. That's like a painting, doesn't it? Each one of these has a National Weather Service. As you see, we have one in Jackson. That's all that is. FYI. Radar weather reports. Mm. What do you think about that radar weather report right there? Is there some rain out there? Right here? Yeah. Right here. They got the highways on there for us. I wonder why we got these kind of colors here and here. Dark clouds. I like your guess. That's not right. Each one of these are radar sites. This is some noise you get from it, okay? That's, that's false echoes. Clear air mode, reactivity. Uh, look at, what is she doing? Up, up and away. Right, my beautiful balloon. A weather balloon, right? 
That's another way you get information from the atmosphere is weather balloons. Looks like briefings. Wow, well, look at that. Man. Wonder what that box means. Can you guys look at it? Anybody know what this stuff is right here? Some of the bombs. You know what's the board tag? Yeah, yeah, look, we got 115.7 is transmit only and all that stuff. I don't know why they got that in weather. I think it's because you can get weather off of it. Shouldn't be a question on that. All right, we did METAR. How many types of METAR are there? I heard 246. This is embarrassing. Two types of METAR. Routine specimen. Thermal air forecast. How long is it good for? 24 hours. 24 hours. Let's do something else. Why does it say FB? The law forecast. Of course, right? We got a Facebook account. Winds and temperature loss are computer prepared. It's pretty interesting stuff. Wow, look at that. What does all that mean? Let's see. Here's uh, Panama City. I used to go down to Panama City. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. I love it. Now, I wonder if the winds, blow, what direction the wind's blowing out of. City. What do you think? It's blowing out of this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's that little thing right there? I mean, ten. Less than ten. This is probably ten to twenty with two, right? So the short one is how fast it's going, and the long one is the direction. I thought the tall one was ten, and the short one was five. So you all talking about two different things. This is direction. This is speed. Okay. okay. Wait. Wait. How do you tell the direction again? You see how it's going this way? Think of a, a compass. Okay. It's going that way, which is 170, 160. It's blowing to the southeast, okay? You see it? And these are by our temperatures. It's very cold enough. A lot of times I'll show you. Oh, this is fun right here. Wow, look at this. Yeah, Panama, PFN. Isn't that Panama City, David? Yep. David, at, at 9,000 feet, what is the winds of law and temperature? 9,000 feet. 9,000 feet. See PFN up there? Where is it at, Dan? Oh. I got Dan to help me out. Oh. PFN yeah. at 9,000 feet. What's the wind? Um, three one zero at two one. What's the temperature? Twelve degrees. That's Celsius. Okay. That's pretty cool stuff, huh? There's a lot of numbers up there, but this is easy, easy, easy. I wonder why they got all these minuses over here. These minuses. What else? The higher you go up, the colder it gets. You're gonna be a meteorologist. You're right. Yeah, it's too cold. I mean, look, 24 hours, it's freezing up there. So uh, let's see if we can get Laura to re-engage. Let's see, you spent some time in Georgia, didn't you, or Florida? Here's a Savannah. At 18,000 at Savannah, I wonder what the wind off the temperature is. Uh, I'm slowly going to do this. <laughs> right there. 1270 at 15. Yeah, negative 5. Minus 5. Easy, OK? If there's anything they're going to ask you about is what's the winds of off and temperature, and they're going to ask you about are these magnetic or true winds. These are true winds. These are not magnetic, like on a, like you get on the ASOX. Okay, those are magnetic. It's crazy they'll ask you that question. You know how these people. Winds of law, temperatures. Making good time. Look at that. Where's my meteorologist at? Look at this, man. High pressures and low pressures. So these are all the individual stations. You see the uh, pressure on there. Let's just skip right on by that. That was a little busy too. Six hour forecast. Here it says right here, 10 degrees true north, okay? Wind speed true north. Temperature is Celsius, preceded by that. And once you get above 20,000, that will give you the temperature because it's always freezing. Let's see here. Kansas City. We're not too worried about that. We can figure that one out. Significant prog charts. They haven't told me what prog charts were. Prognostic, I think. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, look at that, man. That's exciting. One of the questions they're going to ask you is what is going on in Utah over the 12 hour prog chart? Well, we know the answer already, right? Because Look, don't look at the 18 hour, don't look at the 6 hour, it said look at the 12 hour, okay? And then you look and there's a little moderate turbulence symbol, which is usually on the chart for you to see. I don't see it right now, but we'll get to it in a second. Look at those product charts, huh? 
forecast. Tell me I'm almost done here. Oh, look at all these funny looking symbols. What color is a warm front on a map? Red. Cold front is blue. So, see how it's got the points and the circles? I think there's three fronts that you'll see. Cold front, warm front, and stationary front. Everybody able to identify a cold or warm stationary? Yep. There is something called a clue. Let's see that. No, I think we know what a hurricane is. Isobars. Thin gray lines. That's the, that's the pressure, right? What if you got a bunch of isobars close together? What does that mean? A lot of pressure? A lot of change. A lot of wind. Okay, a lot of wind, a bunch of isobars. Perfect precipitation. Look at all these symbols. Again, when you have a question with a map, they will give you the legend to help you with this. That's a busy chart right there. Tell me about uh, one thing you can see on that chart there, Ryan. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll try to wake you up. One thing you see on that chart. There's a lot of rain. There's front, close. What do you say? There's uh, front, 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 right? So here would be a warm front. This would be a cold front. Layton, what else do you see on that map? Anything? Mexico. New Mexico? Yeah, okay. Terrain level, maybe? Terrain level? I don't know. What's the green stuff? Well, so you're talking to someone who can't see color. What are you talking about? Right here? You can't see color? What is all this right here, guys? Is that precipitation? I thought it was precipitation. Is it green, not rain? And Blue, um, turbulence. No, no, blue is frozen, I think, right? Uh, so blue is snow and green is rain. That's that sounds right. Or ice. Right? You can see it's, it's up to the north, right? So we got isobars, right? We got a high pressure. We got low pressure systems in front. Don't, don't read too much into it, guys. It's surface analysis chart from NOAA. Look, we even got symbols down here to help us figure it out. Chance of rain. Yeah, that's what they say every day, right? There's a chance of rain. Well, um, you mm -hmm. you colored one? Sort, sort. Colored. Want to make sure that you guys can identify these symbols now. Cold front, warm front, straight stationary. Some of these other ones are a little tricky. Dry line, low level, significant fog charts. We're not going to have exactly what they're talking about. But what I want to show you is they're going to say, on this frog chart, what's going on over in Indiana? Well, let's see. Here's Indiana. I think y'all can find Indiana, right? Yeah. yeah. And you got this funny looking thing, right? Well, heck, I don't know what that is. Let's do this. Let's look at the legend. Water. Right here. That's what's going on over in Indiana. It's on the legend. Okay. You don't have to break out a calculator, compass, protractor, whatever. They tell you right there what you're looking for. Now, again, those are prog charts. All right. Just when you think we're done. Have we heard of air mats and segments? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's good to hear. Uh, if we had an air mat, a sigmet, and a convective sigmet, which one's probably the worst for a pilot? Convective. Convective. Convective sigmet. Okay. It's got all the bad stuff. Thunderstorms, hail, size of can hail. This big stuff. Bad stuff. So air mats and sigmets are a little different. All by designs are easy. Convective sigmet. Look at all this bad stuff. I highlighted everything in there. They usually come out every hour and do it for two hours, if I remember. Embedded thunderstorms, tornadoes. I would read a convective segment on the frequency. I thought everybody was going to land because the world's going to die. All right, you know, it's terrible stuff going on. In reality, pilots don't even listen to it anymore. They got better weather than we do. Usually, <coughs> convective segment are broken up in three regions. Here's an exact example of a convective segment. Oh, somebody could read that. I'd say we didn't class early. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I got this. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say we try to read it. From Montgomery to Savannah to 70 east of Miami to Fort Myers across city, 120 miles southwest of Boise to Brownsville to Waco. We're just getting started. Okay, guys. And we got all this. And I had to read all that over the frequency every hour. If you didn't do it, they would come find you and slap you on the Convective segment. I just want to give you an so, idea. It covers a large area. Okay. What were you going to say? Since you read it, can we go? <laughs> I mean, you are someone. So we got from convective to segment. Okay. No convection. Segment. Non convective that is potentially hazardous to all aircraft. Okay. And so they talk about clear air turbulence, icing, things like that. That's a segment. Let's talk about segments are done by the okay. Here's an example of how it's put out. Tri City Chattanooga. Then we go to airmen. 
significant weather phenomena conditions lower intensity than the signal. All pilots. Now here we go. Air Mets are used to notify. There you go. Air Mets, this is the question with that, are issued to notify usually small thing land aircraft of these conditions. Air Mets, okay. Visibility, moderate turbulence, freezing motor. Oh, there's an air bed right there, all that stuff. This is how it's depicted. Area turbulence. Okay. So the weather advisor, you get that from the center. Another example right there, you can read that. Tell me we're finished. Is that we're finished? Yes. Yeah. So back to this, like the best website ever. What do you want to know about? We got it all right here. Let's start right here with, I'm going to find it. Signets, they tell me, taps. Am I missing the meat art? Meat art. Here, meat art. All right, since we're going to do this, somebody here has been to Nebraska, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, there you go. What is that, Kansas? That's Kansas. 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 Let's do the coast. LBF, North Platte. That is the weather for North Platte. And that is a meat art. Grant number three. Can you read all this? This is an easy one, man. Mr. McCoy, you got to chill out. Like, You've been picking on us this whole time. You, you got to chill out. Like, you know. Hold on a second. Listen up. Hey, look, guys. You guys have to prove to me that you don't Okay? You're going to fail, and my boss is going to come to look to me and say, how come you didn't pass? Okay. <laughs> I mean, we're good with that? I mean, I, I can tell you what you told me. Mr. Why? Brad, don't play. I don't, I don't know. What happens, pilots, if you don't have this? Kill one more. All right, here we go. Well, I can't grant number three. Those that want to do it. How about grant the other grant? All right, let me read it. Let me try. So don't get lost in all this stuff. And here's, the, here's where it is, right? LBF. I don't know where that is. But that's, that's the location. What are these numbers right here? I don't know. It's the same thing every time, which is the date, the day. Okay, so it's... And that's the time. Okay. Uh, it's going to be... On the 4th. This, this is current weather, 1453. 1453 Zulu. Yeah, don't worry about all this, but oh, this is no, wind. A few minutes ago. No, calm. Uh, none wind is calm. Keep going. Clear. Clear, Clear weather. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to read the number. Zero one slant zero zero. What are those two? Temperature and dew point. Okay, guys. Yeah. yeah. Temperature and dew. Temperature zero one. Dew point zero one. Altimeter right there. And that's it. I mean, we don't want to talk about all these remarks. If there was something like rain or snow, hit that light, guys. I can't see a thing here. So that's. So I want you to get the, out of the idea. It's the sequence: location, date, time, wind, viz, sky, temperature, dew point, altimeter. Then we'll read that. Okay. Personally. All right. So on this, we got METARs, but we also got these other funny looking lines. Uh, we have to do at least one more looking for volunteer. Somebody who's a little more excited about weather. I know what those funny looking lines are. Which site should we go to, is what I'm asking. Let's go to Cali. Cali? What? Let's go to Florida. Florida. We've been to Florida. Let's go to Florida. Oh, I want to go back. What about South Carolina? South Carolina. Here we go. Let's go back to Florida. No, let's go back to Florida. Charleston International. Charleston. Was that you late? You wanted to yes, sir. Go ahead, start coming. All right. So we got the fourth day at 1456 Zulu. Um, 20 degrees at 12 knots. Hold on a second. Which direction is the wind blowing from? Can you tell me that? One from the north, the northeast. Zero two zero. One right? to the southwest. It's from the northeast, that's right, or to the south. We, most people say gotcha. it's from, okay? Keep going. Uh, 10 statue miles of visibility, scattered clouds at 3,000 feet, mm -hmm. scattered clouds at 12,000 feet, broken at 25,000 yep. feet. I don't know what the 13 slash 04 What did we do a minute ago? What is it, guys? Temperature, Temperature, Temperature 2.1. Gotcha. Okay. Temperature one three point and what's this one? Altitude. Altimeter. Oh, altimeter. Every meter. Every meter is going to be like 30.19. I'm guessing. You always say 3019. Get rid of a point. So what's the arm K thing? The arm K. Yeah. Marks. After the weather, sometimes you will get remarks. 
And there are things you'll see, like we talked about earlier, distant, you know, thunderstorm northeast, distant to more than 10 miles, uh, wind, how it's changing, or other things that are going on. Uh, generally, it's hogwash, okay? But if it was to ask, like in Miami, in the remarks session, what does it say? And you'll go to Miami, and you'll go to remarks, and it'll say something. That's what, what, is, what does that say? What does this say? Yeah. This is sea level pressure. Okay. And this talks about the temperature, whether it's positive or negative. It's just worthless stuff. Okay. Don't don't use up your uh, use you yeah your brain storage, man. I, I don't have that many megabytes. <laughs> so that's are we good? Do we need to do one more? Okay. Let's do New York. Let's do it. JFK, it's a good place, huh? Oh yeah. Fourth day of fourteen fifty one Zulu. At 40 degrees at 8 knots, 10 station miles of visibility. What is few? Few, few clouds, right? Few yeah, clouds. Scattered, few, yeah. 3,800. Yeah. Broken at 25,000. The dew point is 08 slash 01. Temperature. Temperature? Oh, temperature dew and dew point. Dew point is always lower. So the 8, I'm guessing it's 80 degrees? 8 Celsius. 8 Celsius, gotcha. Zero one and altimeter, okay? All right. Let's get out of that. We've got a couple of things we've got to get into. Let's see. Tap. We haven't done one of these. <clears throat> so, METARs are current weather, all right? Tap are forecasted weather. Let's go to Des Moines, right? So, I'm going to go through this. It's, we should know a lot of this, but again, this is a forecast. How long is the tap good for? 24 hours. 24 hours. Des Moines. This is the time it was put out before from 12 to 1200 Zulu. We can read the wind, the visibility, the clouds, temporary conditions on this day from here to here. And then 1700, you'll see this will be the conditions, okay? That's the test. We'll just say we're good with that. Yeah. That's basically like somebody telling you what the uh, weather going to be all day long. Yep. Okay. Yep. Pilots like the forecast. It's good. So there's also, there's like an upper level or something. But I think this is it. I don't know. Whoa. Get me out of here. World area forecast. Not what I want. Winds and temperatures. Let's try that one. Well, we got a look at that. Gee whiz. What's going to take me there? 31032. It won't give me the big chart. It'll just tell me what it is. So it's not what I want. Pyramids, signets, turbulence. For the weather home. When you, when you land at the website, this is where you are. Uh, have we done a pirate up already? I don't remember. Um, I think we did it. Another pirate. Daniel, can you do the pirate for me? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, we don't know where MAF is. Mike Alpha Foxtrot. What happened at Mike Alpha Foxtrot? I think it's midnight. Over. Mike Alpha, what, what, what do we have? At? Um, 1500. Yeah. Flight during G, during GD. Ground? Ground. Oh. What type was it? What kind of airplane was it? Uh, uh, Boeing 37. And what did he say? Boeing. What's the last thing he said? Uh, right. Overcast Boeing. at 4,200. Just pirate. Overcast at 4,200. Okay. Some of them are more lengthy and everything, but so we got a METAR, a TAF, a FIRA. No, report. Yes. What are those little red things that say TS? Thunderstorm uh, areas, probably severe thunderstorm areas. Gotcha. I thought you were trying to mess with my color deficiencies. As you can see right here, and if you blow it up a little, you can actually click on these things and they'll tell you information about them. Okay? Oh. So let's, I, I, you ever heard of TMI, man? That's, that's way too much information. Okay. What about the IFR one? The IFR is going to be to ceiling or visibility. Mm -hmm. Center weather advisory. Go to this website there, Layton, if you want more information, play with it. Oh, Lou. But again, the final thing I'm going to mention about all these, look guys, here's the chart to tell you what all these symbols mean, okay? Don't say, oh, I can't do this. Why don't you take a minute and look over it? Yeah. All right, now that we did all that, uh, that's not what I want to do. We went through there. Let me figure out where I'm at here. Uh, we couldn't leave without one practice test, guy. Okay? Of course, right? Did I start the course? It's going to be all about the weather. All about the weather. 
20 questions. Did I get it? I think I got it all right. Thunderstorm in the area of an airport. Which hazardous atmospheric phenomenon B. might be expected? Y'all give it B? Yeah. All right. I want uh, Hunter, give me the answer number two. Read over that what you think. What do y'all think, pilots? B. I like B. Friction, okay? Friction, because it's southwest here, it's a different level of surface friction. The wind direction at JFK. Well, let's figure it out. Figure 12, what's the wind at JFK? Y'all see JFK up there? Yeah. Yep. Okay. The last one. We got JFK, so what's the wind? A. The answer is A? Yep. yep. You think it's magnetic or true? True. Truly, you're wrong. Yeah. B. So this, this is a it's METAR. B. This is current weather. It's not a forecast. I like this answer right here. 1804. Press on. What cloud layers are in forecast for central New York? Holy cow. Let's see what we got. He said central New York is what they said, right? Yep. Oh my God. Oh, where is that? <laughs> we got to answer this. I guess, is this thing you see? Yeah. yeah. Refer what cloud layers are forecast for central New York? We've probably got some kind of. Oh, C, we're so in the middle. <sighs> I think that's B. Well, I was looking for it the... Says, uh, it says it up there in the question. It says area C. It says no, area no. C. I see. Okay, I'm with you. So, obviously, what do we think? They are. Th this means, you see this down here, this little chart? Yes, this is overcast. What does that say right there? That few. Few and scattered is right here. In central New York. Is this central New York right here? Yeah. So, what are, what's going to answer going to be? Few. They're going to get 11 and 5,000. I don't know how they come up with those numbers. So you're thinking B? It's not this one. Ooh, let's just put that one for luck. I don't know. It's either right there. It's kind of like more right, yeah. right to the west of the Right here? Yeah. That's 11 to 15 is what that is. We got that one. Okay. That's good. To update a previous weather briefing, a pilot should request. A. Thank you. A stable air mass is most likely to have what Smooth kind of. Smooth air. there. All right. What wind is forecast for St. Louis at 9,000? This was on my Here's St. Louis. Right. Y'all see 9,000? Yeah. Uh -huh. What's the wind forecast at 9,000? Uh, what, which answer do you got for me? Uh, C. Yeah. 32 knots. I did so, B. I did B. 230 yeah. at 32, and it is true. What's this number right here? Uh, uh, temperature. Temperature, yeah. 230 What features associated with an inversion? Look at these three, three, three of them. Mm. Uh, 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 mm. A. a is the answer. A is the answer. A stable layer of air that comes over and keeps the uh, unstable from coming up. You can get an inversion. Stable layer of air. Pilot can expect wind shear. I have seen this question twice. Oh, I don't where did that come from? Let's go one more time. Pilot can expect a wind shear zone inversion when the wind, you know, two to four thousand. Somehow you got to remember 25, okay? If the environment of aircraft structural ice most likely have the highest accumulation, we know this answer. Highest accumulation. What's it going to be? Freezing rain. Okay? It's wet, it hits it, it freezes, okay? Steady precipitation preceding a front. Hmm. Indication of uh -oh. what? Uh, it's an indication of. I would say B. No, it's Q. A is it not A? Q. Is it not? Uh, I, I think I like A. Why though? Well, the only difference is turbulence, right? I don't think it's A. It's, it's, it's C. It's one of, I don't. I don't think it's the cumuliform clouds because cumuliform are going to have some turbulence. Stratiform is just what's happening as the front's coming in. So if you mess, I will try to see. We'll figure it out in a minute. All right, terrain level. This is fun. How do we get this on here, man? Terrain level is 1295. What is the height above ground for the of the base of the ceiling? What? What did you say? You got the answer already memorized? Hey. Whoa, man. Figure 14. If the terrain elevation is 1295, what is the height above ground at the base of the ceiling? Okay, so what's the ceiling base in here? Do y'all see it? Where's the base? What's the cloud base? 
bottom base is broken or overcast, what's the lowest one? Somebody said it. Said it. See, see how the sky, 1,800, that's the lowest. And is that this, is this AGL? We talked about that. That's a pilot report. Yeah. Pilot reports are MSL. Pilot reports, look at their altimeter, is MSL. So it's saying at uh, 1,800 MSL, but we said it's 1,295. So 18 minus 1,295. What's our answer? Did everybody see how I got to that, or we need to do it again? Pilot reports are MSL. Weather reports are AGL. The sky is 1,800 broken above. You know what I'm saying? This is a pilot. It's at 1,800 feet. I feel like you guys aren't good with that. Intensity and type of icing by the pilot. This is another one. Look at this. Let's see if we can find icing on there. Do y'all see the icing on there? No. Yes or no? Do y'all see the icing on there? Um, it's towards the end, right? Yeah. Don't tell me. The rhyme. Yeah. Uh, that just rhyme. <laughs> I don't know. Rhyme is the type of ice, right? What is it? Rhyme. Clear rhyme mix, yes. And uh, the question is, is this a, what is this? This is a pi rep, okay. The intensity and type, let's see here. Jeep was towards the end, didn't it? Yeah. Turbulence, icy icing. This is icing. Light to moderate. I like light to moderate rhyme since it says it, right? right. Wait, what is, what is the rhyme? It's the type of icing, you know. There's clear icing and then rhyme. You do that at higher altitude. Oh, not okay. smooth. So two types of ice, and we got light to moderate and rhyme. What measurement can be used to determine the stability of the atmosphere? The correct answer is lap rate. An unstable lap rate is not good in terms of stability. Which type of weather briefing should a pilot request when departing within the hour if no preliminary weather information has been received? Who said abbreviated? You only do the abbreviated if you have something else. He, he hasn't had one in this pilot. Yeah, he hasn't had one. Yeah. See, good, right? Yeah. Which weather signals the beginning of a mature stage of thunderstorm? Easy, right? Easy. You good with that? Mature precipitation. The only cloud type forecast in the TAF. What have we talked about? It's probably this, right? Yeah. But let's go ahead and take a look. Oh my gosh, but the TAF reports. Do y'all see CB in there anywhere? Gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Yep, right here, CB. That's the only cloud type that'll be in the tap, okay? One in flight test is necessary for struggle of icing to form. We know this, right? For it to form, what do you gotta have? Visible moisture. You gotta have visible moisture for icing. Oh, here we go. What are the wind conditions at Wink? Yeah. All right, y'all see Wink out there? Uh, yes. Yeah. It's a kink. Kink or Wink, whatever. Uh, I was, okay, yeah. There we go. One one zero one two. Gus one eight. One one zero one two. I like B. Is that a meat tar?